At least 45 people have now died in the violence that has been engulfing parts of South Africa since the jailing of former President Jacob Zuma last week. This includes 10 people killed in a stampede during looting on Monday night at a shopping center in Soweto, the country's biggest township. Almost 800 people have been arrested in the unrest that began last Thursday and turned violent over the weekend. Looters continued to ransack shopping malls and protesters clashed with police in several areas of South Africa on Tuesday. Violence triggered by the jailing of former President Jacob Zuma has evolved into an outpouring of anger over persistent poverty and inequality 27 years after the end of apartheid. Outnumbered police have appeared helpless to prevent attacks and the looting of businesses in Zuma's home province, KwaZulu-Natal, and Gauteng, where South Africa's biggest city, Johannesburg, is located. That's why the military was heading for flashpoints on Tuesday, and columns of armoured personnel carriers could be seen rolling down the highways. Police Minister Becky Kelly said the situation would not be allowed to deteriorate further. We have instructed the law enforcement agencies to double their efforts to stop the violence and to increase deployment on the ground. He said 757 people had been arrested so far and put the official death toll at 10. Though according to state and provincial authorities, it's at least 30. The deteriorating situation points to wider problems and unfilled expectations that followed the end of white minority rule in 1994. A gulf between the haves and the have-nots has been widened amid the global health crisis. Restrictions have been repeatedly imposed on businesses and in the first three months of the year, unemployment hit a new record high of 32.6%. On Monday night, President Cyril Ramaphosa warned that the unrest was only making matters worse. We will soon be facing a huge risk of food insecurity and medication insecurity in a few weeks. Zuma was sentenced to 15 months in prison for defying a constitutional court order to give evidence at an inquiry. It's investigating high-level corruption during his nine years in office. Any confrontation with soldiers risks fueling charges by Zuma and his supporters that they are victims of a politically motivated crackdown. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.